in the first round, I kind of hurt my foot. I hurt my leg. Leg stuff you could kind of eat because that happens in training. But I'm pretty sure I broke my foot. So I kind of had to eat the pain a little bit until I saw the damage being received by him too. At a certain point, you know, you're swinging a bat at another bat. Sometimes your bat might break first, but sooner or later, both bats are gonna be broken. I told my coaches already, man, we coming out here to get a contract, you know? We came, like the initial plan was to, hey, we're flipping this coin, whichever, he's a power puncher, I'm a power puncher. I'll flip that coin with anybody, man. You know, I believe in my power. I believe my chin will hold up. And that was the original plan from the get-go. After a while, I started seeing like, oh, this guy's surviving, man. You know, and let's not be silly. We could win a technical battle too. Did Dana come to you afterwards, after the fight, and say anything about the performance? I, I, I went to him. I went okay. to him. I let, I let him know, you know, my our country right now, we got beacons in the UFC, Israel and Kamaru, you know. We got people to look up to. And I just want to be another one of those people, try to bring up more pride for my country. There's, I try to tell everybody, there's a million Nganos walking around in Nigeria, you know. I'm not that big. I'm a featherweight, but all my muscles in my heart and in my head, you know. But this, we're naturally talented. We're built for this, man, African strong. I saw Daniel Kelly mention you, uh, UFC fighter, uh, mention you on Twitter, social media. Is it, do you train with him at his gym? Yeah, I'll spot, I train with Dan about three times a week, and uh, I've looked up to him forever. For the last however long I've been training with him, he's been one of my um, inspirations for a long time. Well, what kind of advice does he give you as a fighter that's done it before and obviously an Olympian as well? He normally just hits me in the head a lot. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he, he just, I don't know, just more or less gives you the mental push and um, just, yeah. He's just a good training partner and a good man. Do you also hope to still be fighting at like 50 like he is? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I've, got, I've, got a good, uh, I've got a good 10 years and then I'm out. <laughs> I've got a bad habit of just trying to brawl. Um, I, can, I can move, I can, I can sleep, I can move, I can be slick, but sometimes I just I get into a zone where I don't care, I just want to punch on. Um, and yeah. You know, um, when I finally started listening to my coaches, I started moving my head, I started dropping the leg kicks, and I started throwing my punches in combinations. Look what happened. My uh, striking coach has been working on that, um, especially off the fence, because a lot of heavyweights like to push people against the fence, so I turn them, shoulder bump, and then and through the uppercut. And uh, we've been working on it for a couple weeks now, and, and I, I just knew in my head that it was on a land. Do you still train out of strong style? Yes. So you work with Stipe? Yep. What's that like on a day-to-day basis? Uh, you know, it, it's fun, and but it's very grueling um, to do what he does, and 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 then you know you, you try to mimic him. So, um, but he he's still the best in the world, in my opinion. And uh, I'm trying to keep you know catch up with him. And he's been a he's been great way for me to get better in the sport. So I, I appreciate him very much. Who dubbed you the teenage dream? Uh, that was my training partner, Joey Perotti. Uh, I guess it's kind of like a play on that uh, Katy Perry song, but um, part of it's just because, uh, like, ironic, because I was, like, the awkward kid, uh, like, super nerdy, you know? And then uh, other parts kind of that the, the ladies are all dreaming about me, kind of uh, <laughs> wanting the old teenage dream for themselves. You know, I, uh, I'm i super competitive. I never want to lose, and that's kind of um, that's how I go about it. I never want to lose a fight, but I know at some point it's going to happen. I just want to make it, you know? make it as hard for the other guy as, uh, as it can possibly be.